If only we were in Midgard, that water would be frozen in the second. Someone's not enjoying their summer holiday. Hello friends and welcome back to God of War. This week we're off to Svartalfheim. Which is nice. We're just hanging out with Brock and Sindri. And Mimi is going to help open the way to Svartalfheim. Finding everything all right, I hope? Yes. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, <laughs> so, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. It's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. What? Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel okay. leader, Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your being, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, bro? Will he help us or not? No, oh, never mind. It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine. Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. <laughs> yes, Mimi, get him. I was waiting for something like that. Because, uh, yeah. Hmm, how about that? I do feel a certain affinity with Mimi, I have to say. Which sounds like I'm really putting myself on the pedestal, on the pedestal there, because he's the smartest man alive. That's not what I meant. Oh, dear. Let's wind that back. Um... I'm not saying I'm the smartest man alive. I just feel like in terms of um, his tolerance for bullshit and other people, um, it's, it's somewhat akin to my own. I often find myself wanting to say things that he then says in the game. Just likening myself to a mythical figure there. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Cool. Yeah, great. Great. Staying humble. Staying humble. Let's go to Svartalfheim. You hear that? Not really. Push the ball. Are those some Push kind of ball. dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. What the fuck? One way to find out. What are you doing? I don't think they're a threat. Also, aren't you way out of range? Well, someone wasn't paying attention last season. I spent so many... Minutes, probably minutes rather than hours, hurling my axe at crows. What are you doing? Don't you mean to mean? Shut up, boy. We'll just need the bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. Oh. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodging bastard! Cindy? <laughs> Open. Open now. I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Jesus! So unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! 
crossfolk of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just there. That should do it. Wow. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Gritos, throw me at him. Horns first. <laughs> Case you takes a joke, you old goat. <laughs> Poor Mimi. Poor Mimi. Go on, get back on my butt. There we go. The Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. Say what? I also used it for light. Okay, good note. <laughs> I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. That was funny. I also used it for light. There was definitely less of less opportunity to use Kratos for humor in the okay. last game. Aim Ooh. your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right. Svartalfheim. Concentrate. Okay. Hey. Is that what is this the concentrating thing? Is this what that means? Wetlands Gateway. Okay. Sure. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. Ooh. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. Yes. And the grim are everywhere. Oh. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck. Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck. <laughs> We're going to a town. This should be interesting. This should be a bit different. Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. Everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Well, then. Uh... Careful, lad. <laughs> uh. So bad. Oh yeah, I got a new shield. <laughs> Get fucked. More wrenches, left side. Left side. <laughs> oh. God, they're actually doing a fair bit of damage to me. I underestimated them. That's quite funny. Wait! Let's see. Ugh, I'm the god of war, I am, and look at me now. Oh yeah, I got a runic attack. Good. I see we're already off to a lively start. Yeah. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. But you dropped your guard. Oh yeah, I remember when this game was in development, a load of people on Twitter were like, eh, look at the boat animation, it's the same. Well, they're not building this game completely fresh from the ground up. Game? Reuse assets, including animation, to free up time to develop other parts of game? Heathenistic. I can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin. And never talked about Look at this. Look at this. Ugh. Uh, I've seen that animation before. Uh, I simply must uh, yell at some developers on Twitter. I have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Not eyes on the water. What? There are resources. What we got? Right. You never asked mom about what she used to do. What did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. <laughs> that was an evasive answer. What is that? 
Uh oh. Did you see that over there? I did. Bigger ones. I hope this town's okay. That wheel looks a bit like it's not turning and that is a bit is fucked. The channel. Yeah. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. Oh yeah, because that bit's broken. Alrighty. Let's oops, let's po post up here. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. We must find a rock. To, like, chuck in there or something. If only we were in Midgard. That water would be frozen in the second. Someone's not enjoying their summer holiday. <laughs> Brother, you think freezing it would work? Oh, I see. Right, yeah. Silly me. What if you used your axe on it? Oh, well, that's what I'm fucking doing. Just tried it with a runic attack, goddammit. Fair enough, though. Hacksilver. Mmm. Well, here's a pretty problem. Oh, no, well, you can just jump this one. Runic magic! Oh, yeah, find and break the seals. Forgot about this. Fuh. Now we need B and R, and I know that's not the names for the runes from the Elder Bouchard before anyone starts. Actually, it's called B Barunanun. Okay. Where's that third bastard seal gone? <laughs> Bird. Yes, still got it. Oh, I nearly got that second one. Okay. Where is it? Where's it gone? Do I need to go up there to get it? Maybe. Yeah, there we go, there it is. Nor near. Get fucked, chest. Oh! Oh yeah, either apples. Huh. Crunchy, crunchy crystal apple. Delicious. Okie dokie. Think that's dirty enough to climb? What? Aye! Good old dwarven craftsmanship. What is this? Is it this? Oh, it is. Well, apparently, I just cannot follow a video game path today. That's fine. He was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. But I'm the God of War. Clearly had a type. Hello, bigger things, is it? Wow. Oh. Let's see. Jolly good. Stonewall. Hold L1 to absorb standing and guard breaking. Okay. More of them, is it? Yes, it is. Nice to be able to switch at the start halfway through. Keeps things interesting. Beast scraps. Mm. Behind you! Incoming! Oh again? Seriously. Alright. 
No, it's pretty near actually. Ha ha ha. Oh dear, sorry. Oh. Whee! Oh my god. I sexed it. Carry on. Hello. This looks like something I can punch. Oh no. What we got? Forged iron. Great. We like that. And some hack silver. Nothing wrong with that. There's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Kratos not even using his legs there, while Mimi is bobbling around on his bum. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Svartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Okay. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, good work. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. <laughs> Fourth wall? Much? Oh, hello. Punch. More hack silver. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Sparto Farm? Aye, lad. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Well, that's why we call it climate change rather than just global think we warming. Can fit under that bridge? Yes. Under you go. I've had this. Oh, I love doing this. I've had it before. I used to go canoeing when I was at school. And uh, when you go down a weir, I was always the one in the back steering. And you'd be like, paddle, paddle, paddle. And then be like, everyone down. And you'd lie down and just go down the weir. Because there was a little bridge above your head. And you had to be careful. What's this? Grab it, boy. Or I'll get it. That's fine too. Oh no, grab it, boy. Yggdrasil's Dew of Runic Power. A drink from the Dew of the World Tree brings lasting lasting benefits. Runic permanently increased by two. Lovely. What have we got now? Slag deposits. No comment on that one, actually. Oops, that's not what I was planning to do. That's what I was planning to do. Oh, uh, ow. Ow, oh, fuck it. Why not? Bit of fun. Okay, that's the very definition of overkill. Fucking hell, boy. Ow! Well, this is embarrassing. Hardly the most cinematic fight anyone's ever seen. More beast scraps. Delightful. What is this? They oh. kept those geysers? They did. Now we can freeze them. Hmm. Oh. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Okay. Well. 
we shall deal with that by going round and doing something else, I think. Unless... Oops, no. I thought maybe if I froze that one up there, the pressure would increase. But that's a little bit abstract, I think. Oh, we pop. Hello. Hooray! Those things are everywhere. Hmm. For now, we'll thin out their numbers. No. All right. Surprised they're not barking very, very big hints at me like they normally do. Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Oh, there you go. Look. Oh, is that? There is another one. So if I freeze that one... Oh, look at me finding the solution. But how do we actually get up? Alright, so if we do it backwards, we go this way. Is that what it wanted us to find? I get it from here. There we go. Yes! The wheel's moving and the gate's coming down. That's dwarven ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. Mildly irritating, but uh, I had the answer right first time. The dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri. It's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be... Quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. He's right, Invernus. <laughs> It's all very pretty. Treasure chest? A plant. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Okay. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warm. I'm from Greece, mate. You, I'll tell you a thing or two about warmth. Another gate. Looks like we got to find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavellir. Okay. Here's a beach. <laughs> oh, was that one a friend? Too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Do we need to catch it? <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it dropped. All right. I guess we are hunters in a way, aren't we? What did it drop? Slag deposits. Forged iron. Shattered rune. Mm. And rawhide. Jolly good. Father, up there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm... And then... 
Oh. Halfway there. There's gotta be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Yeah, it's up there, look. And I reckon. No. Oh. I said I reckon. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. Cursed Grim, eh? Oh, those are the Grims that they are. Uh, it's clinging to the wall. We gotta knock it down. The uh, Sindri was talking about. Ah. Oh. Come here, dickhead. <laughs> Fucking battle toads, take this. Oh Christ! Wow. No head for you. More beast scraps. That's nice. Right. Oh. Oh. That was embarrassing. Jolly good. Think you can uncover that geyser from here? Yes. No. Yes. Right. But then... What's that... What's that really doing? Oh, wait. I'm going at it the wrong way. I need to freeze this one. Excellent. Excellent! Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Yes. No! <laughs> nice one. Block's coming down. Can you see anything from that block? See the chain? There's a peacock outside. There shouldn't be. What Can about I see? freezing the guys are under the wheel? Shut up. Maybe. What? Oh. Because the other geyser is pushing the block up? Oh, that's impressive. All right. Pressure. Down on Why? Me. If I may. What exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his story. A book. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History. Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. Ugh. Ugh. Used animation. Hideous. Ugh. Ugh. Right, off we go. Whee! Slag deposit. That earthquake earlier. You think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. Why would you ask if that just as we go into a in cave? Smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter. Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Hmm. Atreus, look ahead. Wow, now this looks like a city. Welcome to neither of you, brothers. Hello. I could crush you all with one hand, but I, I'll try me nice. Hey, dwarves! Oh, 
They're, uh, running away. That's no good. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why hold that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. This seems bad. Okay, do put the axe away though, Kratos. That's really not helping. Hey, can we talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please? There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own. Keep and hopefully let us in. Do we kill the chicken? No, come on. We're here to make friends. And find Is a that pub. a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Oh, oh for you. Oh, that is a statue of Odin. Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Oh, okay. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Yep. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! <laughs> Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Oof. Oh. I mean, never dry fire a bar, but still. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Oh. Ah. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need earlier. How was I supposed to know they were there? Oh, you're still alive. Come here. Bye-bye. So, okay. that happened. So, Derlin. Mm -hmm. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? <laughs> the sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. True. All right, thanks, buddy. We do have crafting materials, service. though. All right. Oh, yeah, resurrection stones. Uh... So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh, my, sure. yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Odinism. Till we meet again! Wait. Hmm. Always at your service. Cheeky little upgrade, don't mind it. 
Let's go into the sewer. Best of luck. Do you see that? Any we... outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. Mm. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. I want that chest. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors in directions. <laughs> All right, fine. Could you maybe? No, thank you. Wait, where's the ore? What's the... oh? Okay. Yeah. That was uh, lucky timing. Fucking hell. Bye bye. What did you drop Look, for me? Over there. Hello? <laughs> okay, I guess we'll just keep going. to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. Uh -huh. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out of the open. Sure. There was uh, another bit of ore we could have uh, smashed there. Let's just do it and see if there's anything in there. Hey! Oh! Come here. <laughs> that was fun. Let's do that again. No, come here. Leave my son alone. Never talk to me and my son. Lovely. Come on then. What do we have to do now? Oh. Well, we're just back here, damn it. Silly me. Right here. Keep up, boy. What is that? That was fun. Curious. Ooh. Now that. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, fuck. What we really do is some healing. Oh, thank you. Exactly what I wanted. Okay. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, 
No encouraging words. No nothing. Leave. Righto. Friendly bunch. Could we possibly? Surely not. No. Hmm. Must be more ore we can smash around somewhere. Oh, there we go. That's so colourful. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. Hmm. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> I'm taken. Fair point, though. Very well. <gasps> melons! Oh, bye bye, melons. It's like Suka game. Right. Pub time. That's him. Hurdy Gurdy. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Oh, interesting. All righty then. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. <laughs> but he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. All right, fine. Good pub, this. Ooh, those are some expensive pans. Copper, copper stuff's pretty good. Right, so we're going to the safety office, which sounds like dwarven health and safety, to be honest, but... Sorry, one more thing. What? Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. <laughs> Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Hmm. Now scamper off. Okie dokie. They love a gourd around here, don't they? Look at this. Compass and map. The dwarven compass and map can guide Kratos to objectives. Press the left side of the touchpad button to jump to the map. All right. Oh, yes, look at that. Right, well, we want to go there. That's where we are. Yeah. Okay. I'm pressing triangle. It doesn't seem to be doing... A single fucking thing. And we already tracking that one, is that why? Back to Dylan's office, sure. Okay. Come. A boat cannot be far. Oh I see, I can pin those. Right. Yeah, we'll do that. Huh. Oh, Earlier Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. Just 
Bye bye, chicken. <laughs> the Mystic Gateway was added to the map. That's good. Right. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Sure thing, boy. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Scald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. Sure, go on then. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can no, see the smokestacks from here. Oh, yeah, they do but seem quite bad. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. <sighs> yes. Thank you very much, Extremely Video so Game Bit of Dialogue. We well, firstly, we're going to get this. You can prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Cooldown permanently increased by two. Lovely. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Right. <gasps> A crab! <gasps> Mystic Gateway Taking added. A That's break good. Before visiting Durlin, very wise. He can be a lot. Mm-hmm. Actually, just here to take out a mining thing quickly. Oh, hello. This seems quite impressive. Oh, I'll tell you what, that looks like something. Oops. I said, that looks like something. There we go. We can explode. No, it's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. Oh, mate, we come need, on. I need to set right a very old wrong. <sighs> oh, what? Ow. Right, come here. Thank you. First time we've seen Draugr. And, um... No, oh, oh. Fuck. Oh, I'm not doing well. But we do have a resurrection stone, so that's something. Come on, boy. Defib me. Thank you, son. Oh, great. Nice to be cutting up Draugr again, I'll be honest. But if we have to go get a key before we can even start taking out that stack, I might return to this um, this little quest some other time. Oh, fuck, I'm dead? Shit. I might come back to this at a later time. That's annoying. Kind of want to push on with the story at first, and then we'll, we can do side quest stuff later. Same conversation we had last time I played one of these games. Right, we're not going up there again then. Let's just go down, get back on the path. What's behind the door? A prisoner of sorts. Well, I'll be delighted to hear about that another time, Mimir.
Right. Oh. Whoa, what? That guy's was huge. Yes. It should lead us to the key for that watchtower door. Ugh. No, I'll do it another time. No, sod it. I'm kind of intrigued. All right, fine. Ugh, one of Odin's bastard ravens. We'll be throwing an axe at that thing later. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Do they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Oh, this isn't the tiny island we were talking about, is it? Alright, that'll be it then. Aha! Okay. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Enough. We will continue later. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Okay. Let's see if we can't shut it down. Bet we could swing across that uh lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Okay. Not quite right. You're not quite right, Mimir. It's gotta be the right spot. Everyone's a critic. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. That was actually not what I was expecting. I smell fuel. <laughs> Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. Let's find out. Son? I'd move. Son. There we go. Oh, hello. Mm. Not taking any chances with these bricks. Thank you. I think we could break through the ground here. If you found a high enough place to drop from. Sure. Oh, is the key meant to be there? Oh well, we're on this one now. Oh. The dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. <clears throat> the Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. <clears throat> this seems like a high enough place. <laughs> 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 oh! Didn't see you there, pal. Give him what for. Lovely. What is that? Some kind of tortoise. <laughs> Actually, kind of glad it survived that. That was cute. Oh, I can read. Huh? Impressive. The squasher. What? Catelyn, squasher of wretches, killed a nest of twenty here. A legend or boast? I wonder. I wish this Catelyn was around to enlighten us with her strategies. Catelyn. Kath Kathleen. Kathleen. 
Right, anyway, what were we doing? Oh yeah, more of this nonsense. That should help. I hope so. Feels kind of abstract to me, but you know best, Loki. A chest. Well, oh, then I may not just run off the edge. Fine. Sort of lost track slightly as to what I'm actually doing. We're swinging across in the gantry, that much I know. Don't think we can reach it there. Well. Helpful? No. Not helpful at all. Unless it was helpful? Well, we already did this. Vaguely frustrating. It's not that. Okay, there's a chain up there. It's a handy shortcut. What the fuck did I do wrong? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's promising. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to get over there in one bit, but that's certainly inter interesting to know it's there. Shit. raise that, then I should be able to swing across, right? Oh, it's way too high. But I think that's the solution. Can I just lower it a bit? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That looks right. Thanks, son. Okay, we got there in the end. Wee. Now, wasn't so hard. Kick the chain down. Shortcuts are useful. And yeah. <laughs> Cut you in half, didn't I? Till bell end. Oh. 
Oh, you're getting involved, are you now? Where'd it go? Oh, yeah. You slant looking motherfucker. <laughs> the rig's likely chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. Job, Leviathan Axe. If the dwarves agree to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfime ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Hulzer brothers could craft something from it. Ooh, it's an armor quest, is it? Okie dokie. Well, that was fun, but also quite time consuming. Maybe we can come back to this one. Where's that chain? There's that chain. Down we pop. No, oh, don't. No. You did, though. Okay. Round we go. I'm just going to test Urban a tiny little theory. I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. Do you think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Yes. There we go. Useful. Okie dokie. Back to the boat. Jolly good fun, but let's go find this mythical dude. Uh, what is it, Lemire? Ah, it's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could... go back? Rewrite your own past. Make different decisions. Oh, yeah. Journey through time is more trouble than it is worth. Hmm? Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. No. Of course you're not. <laughs> so much hack silver. Bloody loaded. Right. I promise I'll be back to set things right for you, Mimir. But right back now. Back to Thor and stories? Whoa, whoa. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimthor. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. Oh. Ah, but enough of that for now. Very quick story time. We're looking for Derlin. You have an appointment. Hmm. <laughs> uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> it 
collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Oh. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Dead. Best of them are. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. <laughs> Take this. What is it? A fine. What? Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name, and, uh, uh yeah. For fucking up my desk! <laughs> a fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. I like Dylan a lot. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh. Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Right. That did not go in any way how I expected it to. But sure. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead. Ah, bastard. Oh, fuck it. Oh, that was good. Kratos from above in a second. No, oh, I missed. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck off, lads. Fucking hell. <laughs> so brutal that one. Oops. 
Any more for any more? Seems like it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There they are, excuse me. Oh, fuck off. So many of them. Oh, that did fuck off. Okay. Okay. As I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, dear. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Hmm. Well, that's handy. Reach the mine beyond the mountain. Okay. okay. First, I would like to reach this big chest. thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. This looks like a minecart ride from Disneyland or something. What's over here though? Yes. Secrets. <laughs> Yes, I know. Ah! Is that? I've seen one of those before. All right. Up the mountain we go. All aboard. Poop, poop. into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and a bearer of Galahorn. The true believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. That ride was rubbish. This way. I can see another train. I mean, Let's the theming is good, there. but... You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Okay. What is that? Some sort of weird beetle. <laughs> Seems promising. Uh oh. What's the fuck? Excuse me? Whoa. Dead? Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. You think? Yep. Definitely dead. 
Hey, I wonder if. Oh shit. That thing fucking huge. Ow. Ow. Okay. Doesn't like fire damage. That much is plain. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Stop with the vomiting water at me. Ow, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck it, why not? Come on. How many times do you get the chance to punch something like this in the face? <laughs> oh, great fun. Ow. Alright, touche. You speedy little bastard. Could do with a bit more health. Thanks, son. Uh oh. Shit! Oh, God. What is this Toby Kadachi bullshit? It's got a war, not Monster Hunter. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Any more health? Oh, Christ, alive. That was the wrong time to take my eyes off the Drakki. Fuck. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Calm down. I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. Oh! Thanks, boy. I forgot I still had one. Or rather, I had one again after I reloaded at that checkpoint. Oh, yeah. Good point. So I'd rather not have to do this fight again. Oh! Save me, son! Fuck. God damn it. Now. <sighs> Yes. I didn't watch out though, did I? Okay. That's quite a big tail when it's about to use its tail. Shield is good. There we go. Ah. Johnny! Johnny! Right, fucking go punch it. Right, that got some health back. Oh! wanted that fucking... No! I wanted the health! That's why I stayed there. Okay, we're good. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Shit, no. 
Where's that fucking next? Where's the fucking health? Oh no, come on. Johnny, move. There it is. Ah, oh, you twat. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, let's go get that fucking pickup. Okay. Ow. Not my best work, this this boss fight. Go kill, go kill, go kill. Yes, do it like King Kong and on the T-Rex. <laughs> okay, that was rad. That one was tough. They are now gone. There could be others around. Oh, dragon tooth. And a couple of eggs as well. Think that Drekius will kill the first one we found? Probably. If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Ooh. Sick burn. Flames of anguish. Let's equip. All right. Let's see how it works. Yeah, I've, I've slotted it. It's equipped. Thanks, tool tip. Oh, ho, ho. delicious. What now? Okie dokie. Down there, I can see a mine. That has oh to be what I was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. Wait a minute, what's up here? What's up here? Secrets? No, it's just the same path. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok, to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. Yeah, you are jumping to that conclusion awfully swiftly. My lovely son. I'm a coming, chest. Don't you worry. Oh, Christ. Jesus, fuck. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, all right. That was pretty cool. Nice. Oh, I don't have my runic attack. Oh, I do now. There's hardly anything left. Oh, well. Sure, I'll get to use it soon. Looks like we have to get this one back on the track. No reason to send them over. No reason whatsoever at all. But I appreciate it. Wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my left. Batman. Keep going. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Round two. Here we go. It's a lot more playful, this one, I think. The Kraken Hatchling gave you a stone. Oh, uh, Athena. Oh, it's a yeah, Kraken. Covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? Mm. If you think about it, War could... Shut oh. up, Atreus. Uh-oh. On your left! 
Jesus Christ. Okay, that was unexpected. I can't believe it. Are you serious? Watch your eyes. Where's the last one? If in doubt, it's on the wall. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Come here. Come here. Fucking bastard. Right. That was crazy. All of it. Oops. You said it, little brother. Hang on. I'm gonna stay up here. There's loot. This is incredible. Mm. Oh shit, for fuck's sake. Ow. I saw that, you bastard. Hmm. Then we should nip down that chain. Ah, oh, another of Odin's ravens, eh? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, treats. Let's see what's down here. The whetstone of the night, Ripper. Excuse me? Resisting an occupation. Sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No. Love and hides. What's done? Hmm. Right. Long reviews. But enough about you. I'm talking about the whetstone. We good one, Mimi. Use your legs, Kratos. It's not cheating. All right, then. What were we doing again? 
Ooh, beast scraps. Don't want to miss those. Right. I think I see a passage, if we can get through this ore. So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's mm -hmm. just a word. I've heard way worse from bro- The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Harness it, let it serve you. Okay. Yarns me the pit mine. <clears throat> Quite pretty for mines. Look on the ground. Tracks. These must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. <clears throat> Cargo Road? Okie dokie. Right. Well, this all looks like another environmental puzzle. And we've just accessed a new area, so I might leave it for this week. And um, we'll come back looks to... Looks like the water powers the crane that's keeping the cargo up. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll come back to my son bleating tips at me every five seconds uh, next time. So thank you much for joining... Yeah, thank... We'll try that again, won't we? Thank you so much. There we go. For joining me for this episode of Preston the Kiedini. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, there's plenty more on the channel for you to watch. I also have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiedini. There's a link in the description of this video uh, if you are willing and able to support me directly through that. It really does make a difference. But also, just thank you for being here and, and tuning in and watching and generally supporting the channel because it means a lot. So um, I'll see you next time. Until then, have a lovely day.